Welcome back guys, I'm Curtis Holland with Free Hill Blades and today I've decided to make my mom a gardening hoe for Christmas. So I am going to heat up this W1 round stock, inch and a half. All right, it's in the forge. We're going to first isolate where the head's gonna be. We're gonna make it leave that really big and then neck down right behind it to, to go into the handle. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do and then after that I'm gonna spread out that head into the blade. Okay, so now I've got it forged out at the angle and general shape I want it, so now I'm going to 
grind it to this sort of pattern that I know my mom likes for her garden hoe. Guys, this is the second day working on this gardening hoe for my mom. It's a Christmas present, and I now have to put a hole in it. I've normalized and annealed it so it's in a softened state. Now I can go through uh, the, the tang, I guess you would call it, and get it ready to put into a handle. And uh, first I'm gonna bead blast all the oxide off. Okay, so I have trimmed down the tang a little bit and uh, fit it in there, and it actually fits really nicely with this collar on it. I'm gonna blacken this collar. I'm gonna bead blast it and paint it black with gun coat and uh, do the same thing to the, to the blade. But right now I think it fits really well and I can't get it out if I just pull on the blade. So I'm gonna give that a try for a while, let my mom try it out. If I need to do any adjusting on the handle, it'll be really easy to take it apart and adjust it. So that's what I'm going to leave it at for now. I'm going to put a hole in the tang uh, so that later I can fix it permanently. But I think it's I think it's good the way it is for now. Uh, so now all I have to do is drill that hole and get it quenched. So just to show you how this thing comes apart, I have to untwist this, and then I can pull out the blade. Um, but if I just push it in there and then twist this on really, really tight, I can't, I can't get that out of there. So that's, I think that's a tight fit. Um, and I think that'll do for now while she tries it out. So I think it'll be really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill that hole. Okay, so now it's ready to quench, and I have preheated my even heat oven, so it's at 1489 right now. 
there it is. Uh, so it's at 1489. I'm going to 1500. So I mean, it'll it'll be there in like a minute. Um, so I'm gonna quench this, and since it's not flat, it's not a straight flat thing like a knife, I can't use my regular quench tube. So I'm using this stainless steel crock pot right here. And I think that'll work pretty good. You can get it in there and agitate it really well with plenty of room to move it. So that'll be really good. Okay, so now that I have this quenched and hardened, it's completely, completely hardened, so now it's ready to temper and I've got my little toaster oven down here, it's actually a convection oven, uh, ready to, ready to go. I think it's at, it's at 350 degrees, so that should be good and I'll put it in there for two hours and then two more hours. So first, before I temper it, I'm going to bead blast it so there's not a bunch of oil all over it. So after those two temper cycles, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to spray it completely with gun coat. That will bake on. I'll put it in the oven at 350 for an hour after I've sprayed it, and it'll bake onto the blade, and it will completely coat it and make it completely rust resistant, except for right here at the edge where I'm going to grind it and sharpen it. So I've just pulled this blade out of the oven and it's ready for the spray paint. So what it is is gun coat. It's made by Brownell. It's called gun coat matte black. And it basically you bake it on and it's very, very abrasion resistant and very durable and keeps everything that's rustable, rust resistant. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I've bead blasted it and now I'm gonna sort of torch it just to get rid of the moisture that's on it. And I'm gonna spray it and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven so it bakes on. Okay, so now I have painted these. They're black, nice and black, and now I can just grind the edge so it's ready to use. So they're both black. I got this collar that's also black, and it's gonna be really, really sturdy paint. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this handle and I'm gonna flame torch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna torch it to sort of rusticate it, and then I'll go back over it with uh, steel wool to smooth it all out. Okay, so I got it uh, assembled. Now it's just ready for the final edge. Um, but here's what it looks like right now.
Okay, so I've ground it to an edge and then I took the edge off. Um, because this is one of those tools I don't think it really needs to be razor sharp. It just needs to be able to break up the earth. So I think that's good right there. If it needs to be sharpened more, I'll, I'll sharpen it more later. But it is done and it is ready to be gifted. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks good. I think it'll work really well. It's W1 tool steel, so it should work really well. should hold a good edge, even digging in the earth. I mean, I, I tempered it you know, around 400, so it should do really well. So that's it for me today, guys. I'm ready to take that thing home and get it wrapped up for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the subscribe button below. If you wanna see more of my work, check out my Instagram and my website. Both of the links are down below in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.